it's uh, challenging to keep running lap after lap in 85 degree heat. With this much power going to the ground, you can really get in a mess. We're testing tires, we're testing MR system, we're testing the performance traction mode. We would call it like a 99% calibration level that we're going over there with and would come out of there at, at a 100% level. It kind of means, boy, these guys are serious. We're here in the middle of our 24-hour durability run. It's a cumulative 24 hours of durability on the Camaro ZL1. Several drivers that are expert drivers that log a full tank of fuel we figured that if we can meet the requirements of that 24-hour cumulative test here, there's nothing that will be more destructive on a car than this. One of the techniques you use for uh, lap consistency, if you can run through it in your head, and that way you can consistently do lap after lap so that you can evaluate different changes to the car or how different driving approaches will uh, change how the car responds. There's a lot mentally going on that you're trying to figure out and the whole time you're trying to drive fast and make sure that nothing breaks. Yeah, during that last run, uh, the car experienced um, something unusual. So we're headed up to the garage. We're going to take a look and uh, try to correct it, get back up and running. The whole idea of the test is to break the car. So it's not necessarily a failure when we've broken something on the car. We want to make sure we break it before a customer goes out, tries to duplicate what we're doing, and breaks it themselves. We put the car through its paces. We start the clock when the car goes out hot. We count the laps that it runs, and we stop it when it comes in, and we put it up on the hoist, and we check everything over. At the end of 24 hours, that's a lot of track time. Most of it's expected, just wear and tear on the vehicles, tires and brakes, fuel, just making sure stuff doesn't come loose you know, so that they're safe out there. And... So far it's been four sessions a day and we already have tires mounted up over here so they can come in, we can put them on, then they can get back out on the track, basically like a pit crew. With the Camaro Z01 we've added quite a bit of sophisticated technology. Obviously choosing the right brake hardware to begin with is, is key and we've got six piston Brembos with the two piece rotors. We've got a very stiff uh, wheel bearing integrated into here. This doesn't make the car stop shorter on one stop. All of this hardware is about making the car continue to go into a corner hard lap after lap. A lot of effort was put on brake cooling. The cooler lines that are part of the diff cooler package bring the transmission fluid back to the differential. There's a heat exchanger that just sits in the sump and then you've got cool fluid and it makes a huge difference um, in, in the durability of the clutch pack and the durability of the unit and everything. The fuel system, as the car went around the track, we'd watch the fuel slash around in the computer and we added a, another pickup to go out and grab that last little bit, which is really impressive. Cradle mounts have been stiffened up. The rear half shafts upgraded to handle more torque. The rear stab bar is about four times more effective. The dual mode exhaust, the MR shocks, stability control, the ABS, traction control, transmission controls. And all are tested on the 24 hour course so that we don't have to add any parts to our car. Just shaking down the car on our Milford Road course, a stock car, you know, stock alignment, stock tire pressure, stock tires themselves. It kind of means we're moving this genre up a notch. So the last tank was hour 21. We just crossed over hour 21, and so far the car is running flawlessly. That's why you do that driver stuff, you That's know? That's right. It's got some uphill sections, and you kind of end up sliding the car around at 120 miles an hour. I'm not going to lie to you, it's a lot of fun. So. <laughs> There's track capability and then there's track durability or endurance. To me, endurance is being able to make the car do what it's designed to do lap after lap after lap all day long.